In a back lane in the suburbs of Istanbul, an extraordinary ceremony is unfolding. An Islamic ritual that is rarely filmed. With its music, praying with women and ecstatic chanting, it is heretical to other Muslims, illegal in the eyes of the government. Although this group's religion is frowned upon by many in Turkey, they have another, more public ritual that has made them internationally famous. They are the Mevlevi, better known as the Whirling Dervishes. ancient ruins in the old part of town, the public side of the dervish religion is on display. This whirling prayer known as the Sema has become a tourist icon for Turkey and a source of income for professional Semazans like Adnan. I love it. And even though it's uh, five nights a week, uh, you still you still love it. Huh? Yeah, I still love it five times a week, and not five times, seven. Uh, seven, seven times seven a week. Seven times, days a week. Yeah, seven <laughs> days a week. UNESCO has declared 2007 as the International Year of Rumi, the whirling founder of this sect, born 800 years ago. But despite the added international attention this year will bring, performers like Adnan know that they will still be viewed with suspicion in Turkey. How do other people see the dervish in Turkey? Some of them they like, some of them they don't. The ice is open way. If the people uh, watch open way, very, they like it. But the people is watch like this way, they don't like IT. The, the narrow-minded. The yeah. Narrow -minded. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is, this is, I mean. <laughs> this trance-like dance, reaching up to God with one hand and delivering a message to mortals through the other, is seen as hallucinatory and dangerously mystical to many in Turkey. When I was warning, if the people is watch me, if the people understand me, you make this for Islams, then I win. I like it. But if two people says you just only you just only see this one just for dancing, I lost. Because this is not dance. This is something extra. In the past, actually, uh, starting from the early period of Islam, uh, dervishes always were at the, at the, at the very uh, core of the Islam. The director of the Turkish Islamic Museum, Professor Mahmoud Kulic, is Turkey's foremost academic in the study of the Mevlevi dervish and the Sufi tradition that they belong to. In Turkish Islam, a religion that is effectively outlawed under the Turkish constitution. Uh, in constitutional law, it says that uh, Sufi training and Sufi activities and running dervish lodges is forbidden. To Professor Kulic, the Mevlevi Sufis have become wedged between the dominant Sunni Muslims of Turkey and the suspicions of the secular arms of the state. Those kind of Sufi activities was banned. In the Mevlevis have become the perennial outsiders of Turkish society, only allowed to silently spin. They cannot give any opinion. They always say, "Please, call, please do your performance and don't, don't talk anymore else." So they can't have uh, a true lodge, they can have a Despite their international acclaim, the religion of the Mevlevi Sufis is still largely taught and practiced underground or under the cover of a tourist dance. I cannot have private house for Sufi gatherings and lodge legally. Well, the, the one I went to was a suburban hall, and it is dedicated to the Mevlevi, but I'm assuming it's uh, 
uh, it's a practice hall. It's to practice the practice. the performance. But they said folkloric dancing. Folkloric dancing. That's what it's yes, for. So. Yeah. So they can't have. Well, they do, but they're not meant to have the prayer. They're not meant to have the leader. They're not meant to have their own rituals mm. beyond. This is ridiculous. Uh, if you know, if you want to ban, just ban all of them. Any kind of these activities. This hall is provided for the Mevlevi to practice their whirling semer, but it has become a bit more than a dance hall under the spiritual guidance of Hassan Dede. But strictly speaking, the, 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 the ceremony that I attended would be regarded as well, possibly illegal. Yes, if they chant in the name of God, such as Allah and who, uh, big gathering is is unfortunately is forbidden. And to have a, a, a leader, which uh, their religious it's called leader, called Sheikh, or the Dedi, they had a Dedi. Religious leader mean Sufi master, spiritual master is forbidden. Hassan Dede gives me permission to film this private gathering, stretching the envelope a little in this year of UN recognition. As the preparations for the most sacred part of the evening, the whirling simmer, unfolds, I'm free to film, but no one is free to talk at any length. so wary about talking? Well, in the past they, they had very bad experience. Uh, that's why they are uh, afraid of speaking. I know some Sufi groups, for example, they never accept any filming or any type of conversation, interview. Because, you know, in the past uh, they welcomed, they accept interviews. They give, they gave some speeches. And, but unfortunately, some of them uh, taken to police and they were sentenced them 10 years, five years. They lost their job, they lost their family. Uh, so that's why now they don't want to be disturbed till they will have full freedom of speech. In some ways, the whirling simmer speaks for itself. For even a casual observer, it is clearly sublime. For the Mevlevi, it is one part of their culture and religion which they feel a little safer discussing. Semazen o anda aşktadır. Aşktadır, kendinden geçmiştir. Everything is whirling uh, from a centrum. For example, protons and neutrons is whirling from atom. Stars is whirling around a uh, sun. And these suns are whirling from another galaxy. time that I can feel I am a part of this all whirling on the universe and I whirl around of my heart we are make a voyager to ourselves we love the world it's worship for us it is a peaceful time for us so it's a beautiful time we think the guts and uh, we are repeating the God's name inside uh, Allah and uh, we think the beauty is. It is a staggering physical feat to whirl like this for an hour or more. For the Mevlevi, it is a unique spiritual feat as well. They aspire to enter an ecstatic state where they can communicate with God. The 
this direct communication poses the biggest threat to Islamic orthodoxy, as well as other unique concepts, such as Hassan Dedi's belief in immortality for Semizans, who give everything for God, and reincarnation for those who don't. <laughs> For Adnan, whirling each night in the tourist quarter, his objective is no less profound, but it takes a little prodding to hear of it. What is the religious experience for you? Well, uh, the religious experience for me, I'm going to be tell you, be honestly, turning, 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 when we find of the him, the foots are be going up. You, you feel like you, you feel you, you like, rise. Yeah, yeah. So you, uh, your feet cannot be seen, but you, your feet is going up. Then you will be, uh, okay, you will be perfect persons. And so this is what you aim yeah. for. Yeah? Yeah. This is what what's, you. This what's, is what you work yes, for. Yes, yes, yes. So when uh, you feel you will be done of this way, then you can see the, uh, the way of the past. Then you can see. It. Then you don't need the uh, people. You don't need the world. I mean, you want to. Be, I have to be go the other way. When you be done of this.